we're out here on the seashore today. We're about a, probably six hours from um, this pressure system coming in that's gonna hit us all day tomorrow. It's gonna really pick up tonight once it gets dark. But uh, you look out here at the surf, you'll see it's actually pretty rough. But there's a really nice sandbar right in there. I'm gonna walk out to about right here and actually cast onto that. Once I get onto that sandbar, I'm gonna use these four sets here and hopefully generate a pompano bite. It's 2.30 right now. We got a 15 mile an hour uh, southeasterly wind and it's it's rough but it's really clean so this is really the ideal conditions for pompano you just gotta have those sputnik sinkers you know pinch them a little extra tight and don't leave them out there too long you leave them out there more than 15 minutes they're liable to get buried a little too deep and you're liable to get kind of broken off your line will get snapped but i'm gonna get these lines out and we're gonna see if we can catch some pompano we're getting hit we're getting hit yeah we're getting hit Yeah, I feel snacks now. There he is. Oh yeah, here he comes. Man, right on the cast out. We just got here. We've not even been here five minutes. This guy is already coming in. Man, you gotta love that. You cannot let these conditions scare you out of here. This surf is rough. It's really rough, man, but they don't care. It's clean still. It's stirring up that sandbar. They love it. I think this is going to be a nice pump there. Oh, yeah. I'm flirting with disaster here. This wash. Oh yeah, baby. All right, you guys. You really gotta think about these sandbars when you're coming out here. I got some really rough surf I'm dealing with and I'm still catching them at a high rate. Like this is the second one already on the board. And I haven't even been here for 20 minutes. And look at this slab. He's a big, look how thick he is. Big, you know, 14 plus incher what we want man this is what you want to be out here for and if you get out here in these windows you can catch them quick like i'm probably gonna get six of these in like an hour and a half they're beautiful got a nice hole here got a nice sandbar to throw on i'm gonna get after them nice little flounder let him go there we go might be a pompano. Alright, we got another bite over here. We're getting hit by catfish all of a sudden. This one doesn't feel like a cat. He's pulled drag pretty good. He's coming in with that wave. Come on, let me feel him again. There he is. There he is. There he is. Come on. Oh yeah, that feels like a pompano, baby. Oh man, this might be a really big pompano. This is a pompano, this is gonna be the biggest one I've ever caught. Man, what a fish. What a fish. I gotta keep this line tight so he doesn't come off. This is a really big fish, really big fish. Oh my gosh, I think this is a huge pompano, you guys. I've never had a pompano hit my rod like that one just hit. And he's trailing hard left. I do not want to lose this fish. This is a big fish. I think I just lost it. Man. Oh yeah, he's on. It's a good pump. It's a good 
good pump. It's a really good pump oil. You hit hard. We are not going to fight this guy. We are going to matador this fish in. I lost. Did you just come off? I can't tell if he's still there. I think he just came off. Man. Man. I got here literally at about 2.30 and it's uh, 4.45 right now and we're getting ready to clear out. I would have caught six Pompano. Unfortunately, those two really big Pompano got off right in the wash. This surf is really rough right now. See right out here, this close area here, that wash is really bad. So those big pompano, they go left to right, left to right, real hard, and they feel that shallow wash, and they just seem to always get off that hook. I did catch him. I saw his head come up out of the water on that one that got off. It probably definitely would have been the biggest pompano I've ever caught. I'm looking forward to seeing it on the video. But still, it was a great day out here. We caught four pompano, caught a nice, nice little flounder. You know, we've been catching a lot of those lately, which suggests, you know. There might be a good population of those, you know, starting to show up in the surf zone. But uh, yeah, it's been a great day. Uh, it's getting a little dark, it's starting to get a little extra windy. So I'm gonna clear out. I got three lines out still. There's gonna be some rain tomorrow. I don't recommend getting out here tomorrow, but um, if that surf doesn't get too dirty from that rain, I'd get out here the day after. It's definitely um, worth giving it a go. Y'all have a good one.